have an incredible artist with us here in the studio. She'll be whipping up a few masterpieces for us this morning. Her name is Sarah Rowan Darlin. She has a brilliant talent. <laughs> Amazing backstory, so make sure you stick around for that. In Welcome back. Well, this morning we have an extraordinary speed painter with us on set, and she'll be panning up a storm for us during the show. Sarah Rowandahl is a woman with an incredible talent and one heck of a story to tell, and she's on our panel now. Welcome to Studio <laughs> Thank you. Um, before we get to your incredible art, because some might say that this is a big driver of it, um, you did mm. something pretty life-changing earlier this year. And yes. you put it on YouTube. I'll yes. show everyone at home. Have a look. Okay family, friends and fans around the world. I just want to take a moment and share with you something that has taken me 20 years to have the guts to say out loud. And yes, from the title of this video, you can tell it's not a video on speed painting or creative tips of the day. Yes, I'm a lesbian and I'm no longer ashamed to say it. There, I said it. Is that three seconds of brave? Yeah, I think so. I pray that you find your bravery before it's too late. Ah. You're getting so, emotional even just watching that video. Yeah. yeah. So, so how brave was it to, to put that out on a, a YouTube? It was terrifying because I respect my, my family that was... Because you were married and yes, you've got kids. Yes, 12 years to like the most incredible guy on the planet and the reason our marriage lasted so long was because of our, our great friendship. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't being true to myself and it really affected my health. I had rheumatoid arthritis. I had mental health issues. I've got arthritis too. Maybe oh. I'm lesbian. Who <laughs> <laughs> knows? Nice. And, and the day I left, the arthritis immediately left my body. And I haven't had to do a single injection or drug since. Eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want with no pain. Because you come from quite a, a loving but very deeply Traditional religious, religious family. Christian family. Right. How did your family take it? My aunt honestly said, oh, I've known since you were three. <laughs> wow. And my cousins and family were very supportive, except for my parents, who it's a bit of a shock to their system, mm -hmm. and I'm just being patient with them. And, yeah, and was them. the way they found out, had you already told them before you put that video up, they, or did they find out via the They video? knew before the marriage. We, I was convinced by the church that I would change right. and that I could change. <sighs> and so I honestly went into the marriage thinking that was possible. But I wasn't being authentic to myself, and it, it caused a lot of problems. And one of the things that stopped me is I was afraid of hurting the kids, and yet they've been the most supportive mm. of my How journey. How old are they? Ten and seven. Wow. Yeah, they're amazing. What's this done for your art? Because it would be connected in so many ways. Right. Because I was so not confident in my skin and because I was living a lie, my art just was in a holding pattern. It was never going anywhere. And then as soon as I stepped out and was authentic and loved myself for the first time, my career has quadrupled in exponentially. So how did you get into speed painting? Because that's quite an extreme... <laughs> like, if there's an extreme yeah. sport of art, it would have to be that. Right. Art school never teaches you how to make a living. So I left uh, art school and became a waitress like everyone else, and I thought to myself, how am I different from other artists? I thought, I love entertaining people, making people smile. Right. So I uh, brought a little prop today. What? Oh. Hang on. Yep. Up, oh. up, up. So before yep. um, I was an artist, I played basketball for my university. Oh. Really? And actually paid for my college and so I used to go around the world and I could spin six wow. at once but I'm not going to do that on national TV now oh. nah. but Joe you want to come try yes I would love to so what what do so, I do oh. Oh. oh okay now you're gonna hold it really tight <laughs> That's incredible! That's How did you do that? Well, I had no social life as a kid. I just practiced basketball in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And, a... but, but what's that got to do with paint? How does that then take you to be paint a painter? Well, most artists are very introverted. They're scared to show their work. They're scared to be on a stage. Mm. Whereas yeah. I'm like, I'll mess up. I'll make a complete fool of myself. Because sometimes, I mean, I've done about 500 events, and of course, there's going to be sometimes it's just like. Did I do that? So, yeah, what you do is you, you go to charity events yes. and you paint while the event's mm -hmm. on, like, incredibly fast, mm -hmm. and then they're auctioned. And you've, you've raised an incredible amount for charity. Well, where are we at? We're at just over 110000 and my wow. goal is million. So Whoa. Your goal's a million dollars. At least. Can I, can I say, because the first time we met just uh, about a week ago, yeah. raising money for the Australian Literacy and Numeracy Foundation, yes. which do amazing, amazing. work, um, teaching basically disadvantaged kids to read. Yes. Um, and you painted... I was emceeing the event, and you uh -huh. actually painted um, the event sort of while it was happening. Mm -hmm. 
and just in a matter of an hour or two, it come up with this incredible canvas of this mighty soaring eagle. <laughs> um, my question is, was that eagle inspired by me? Oh, definitely, Joe. How did you know? Yeah, I thought so. Just, just checking. I think my American bit came out because there we had the beautiful Aboriginal honouring ceremony at yes. the beginning, and then I didn't really know what I was going to paint to that event, and then I was like, oh, eagle, freedom. That's like American roots yeah. in me. That's what you first think of. Freedom is, who the bald eagle. But then the soaring and the books and the pages and... Yeah, yeah, so it's an honour to work with the refugee kids. I paint with them with the subtext program of ALNAF. It's amazing. Well, we are lucky to have Phenomenal. you sticking around all morning and Great. making a few masterpieces yeah. for us. Sarah, welcome to the show. Great hey. to have you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, ahead this morning, we have a fantastic speed painter working her magic this morning. We'll check in on Sarah's progress all morning. See you soon. Check it out. We have our fabulous speed painter, Sarah, in studio all morning. And uh, she's doing up a few months. <laughs> going to chat to our speed painter, Sarah, about what she's created throughout the show. But first, it's time to see what Mel has for us. We have been so lucky to have Sarah Rowandale in the studio today, mm. creating these absolute works of art. Talk us through them. What was the inspiration behind each? Alrighty, I wanted to honour my, I'm now Australian citizen, and I love tall pop. The tall poppy syndrome needs to end. And so <laughs> I'm, I paid that to remind us to just encourage one another. Lovely. This one is um, my iconic squares. They signify the little windows of an opportunity in life that we take for granted, and just to remind us to not do so, to really make eye contact with and people. And don't forget, you yeah. can buy these incredible pieces of art at yes. your website, yes. sarahrowandahl.com. Yes. Right, um, and you can also contact you on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. You are right. so talented. Oh, thank thank you. you so much for I'm being part of our elephant? show. Yeah, <laughs> I think Joe just grabbed the elephant. Yeah, I, cool. I come with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.